all the characters have mouths. It's just that when they're not using them, they go away. Without the eyes, there would be no face. To me, it's just the unimportance of the nose and the mouth. But um, I guess mainly it's a, the eyes are generally averted. They're very rarely looking straight forward, and um, I'm, I tend to be told that neither are mine. <laughs> if I'm looking at you, I'm talking to someone else. So, uh, but I, I think that mine are usually curious about something. They're, they're looking out of the corner of their eye. Um, they're, they're interested in something, um, or sometimes a little leery of it. We, we, see, we saw her a couple years ago and it was more childlike and she went to a darker side and we loved that about it. We just loved her messages and um, thought they would go well with what we are about and what we like. Um, there's a group of paintings that begin uh, with the title Insignificant, Insig Insignificant Ladybug or Insignificant Bat, and um, they're $80 each. And so um, that's something that, while you might not be able to afford a, a $1,000 Emma Overman, you can buy an $80, and that's pretty cool. I was um, appreciative of Joanna Taft uh, explaining when I said it reminds me of Edward Gorey. She said, yes, I s know what you mean. However, I think of Edward Gorey as more dark in intent. She has dark as in color, uh, but the intent I see as lighter. I think of this work maybe as a little bit more California, what's going on um, in California galleries and more kind of using animation to tell different kinds of stories. Um, there are not a lot of people doing that here, so it's nice to have her here.